Increased carbon emissions from human activity has not only changed our climate, but also ocean chemistry, decreasing pH in a process called ocean acidification, or OA. This global phenomenon causes stress to some marine organisms, including coral reefs that protect humans and ecosystems, some plankton that feed fish, and shellfish aquaculture that nurtures humans and stimulates local economies. OA warrants our immediate attention, as detailed by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, for which I was a lead author. We need action now. As ocean scientists saw that OA was happening, they realized it was their responsibility to organize to provide high quality data on OA and its effects. In 2012, they formed the Global Ocean Acidification Observing Network, or GOAN, which now has grown to over 900 scientists and for 100 nations, with three goals, to understand OA changes on local scales worldwide, its biological effects, and to facilitate creation of tools to forecast conditions across time, aiding humans' ability to adapt. After a decade of collaboration and partnership, GOAN has raised awareness of OA at the highest levels of international governments, including the United Nations Goals for Sustainable Development, which call for understanding changes in marine acidity. Much more remains to be done. The UN Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development provides a perfect opportunity for that. Therefore, GOAN and its partners defined Ocean Acidification Research for Sustainability, OAS, a vision for the ocean acidification community. We need to enable more people to measure and understand ocean acidification and its impacts in their local environment. This is very important. Here in our blue Pacific, our people and cultures have constantly relied on the ocean and its bounties. We need to develop new tools and technologies, working with industries to revolutionize status quo, enabling ready access to increase understanding of how ocean acidification plays out in local ecosystems. We need equitable access to information here in West Africa. And we need to buy time to invest in gaining and applying data in ways that allow humans adapt to changes from ocean acidification most effectively. We need to invest in data not only for now, but also to validate projections of future conditions, allowing climate smart solutions. In the Mediterranean, for example, we know conditions vary in time and space, and models can help humans anticipate the most important actions to take, much like a weather forecast. We designed ORS to focus attention and action to achieve seven attainable outcomes. ORS will focus on securing quality data, prioritizing science for action, co-designing ocean observing strategies, gaining better understanding of biological impacts, producing future projections, increasing public awareness, and fostering political engagement. Maintaining the status quo is just not good enough. Not for now, and most definitely not for the future. Please come and work with us to help build the ocean that we all want the ocean that we all need.